anything that we've got to share, whatever it is, our best kept tips, our best kept secrets. Like I get excited. I got excited when we were telling, when we told everybody about the Omron scale. Because for example, the scale where you hold it and it shows you your body fat, your muscle percentage, your weight, the visceral fat, so it's the stomach fat that wraps around the stomach and in the heart or around the organs. That thing used to be like five, 600 bucks. Most people couldn't get it. And all of a sudden now it's like a hundred bucks and you have it for the rest of your life. You know how excited we got? We're like, hey, go get it. Like I sounded like a freak of nature and people were like, What's, why are you so excited? I shared it because we cared, because we know if you had that tool, you would never guess. Anything that we have, we'll share it with you. These calls are designed for that. So I'm saying that so you know why sometimes we go a little over, but I'm also saying it because if you've got something in your head and you're like, I really want to ask these two this, ask it. <laughs> I need you to ask it, okay? That's why we're here. We're not getting paid for this time, people. We are here to give. There's nothing you can buy yesterday. There is nothing you can buy today. If you pulled out your wallet, this is not a wallet, but if you pulled out your wallet and said, here, just take my money, I would have to throw it back at you because I got nowhere to use it. At least not here, right? So ask whatever you need to know. We're here for you. Last part, last part, last part, last part. Mesomorph. The luckiest of the bunch. Yours is simple. Protein, protein, protein. And depending how you feel, you can either have high carbs that day or you can lower the carbs and you can go high fat. But as long as you're active, 20, 30 minutes a day, you can eat, you can eat, you, you can eat whatever the hell you want. <laughs> now, I say that loosely. If you want fast did i just see somebody say alan take my money no no the answer is no but thank you very much um the, i got thrown off by that that last message um for, for mesomorphs the reason why i said that so loosely is because when you're active your body's primed it's built in your metabolism is built to burn fat incredibly efficiently it is built to hang on to muscle incredibly efficiently you have in my opinion the best of the three which doesn't make you better like first endos ectos oh god this is so horrible god somebody give me a hug no, no no it just means we have to be a little more strict that's all but for them they can gain their results quick but they can also lose it quick so to make sure that you have long lasting change long lasting improvement for at least 90 days and all of this boils down to 90 day plans ladies everything you want to test always test within the 90 day frame it takes add this real quick before i go back to this it takes 30 days for your metabolism to turn on turn on as in like how your metabolism was when you were 16 maybe 18 maybe 20 it's still in there it's just been dormant for a very long time. And I don't care what scientist or fitness professional, whatever tells you, no, no possible. You're too old or it's too late for you. It's all done. No, screw that. Tell them to shut up. I'm serious. I say that a lot because sometimes we get fooled into believing it's too late. And I classify that as full of BS. It's too late, full of BS. Because time after time, I mean, look, there's set. We, Helen was training next to a 74 year old woman at the gym, Seven, 74. Okay. 74. She didn't start her training till 55 or something like that. 50, 55 around Helen's age. We, we, me and Helen walk into the gym. You know what she's doing? She's doing this. She's up in the pull up bar and she's doing this. Hey, good morning. How are you? And me and Helen are going, how the hell is she doing that? It looks so goddamn easy. <laughs> like, I, I, like literally, we were trying to train and we couldn't because we're fascinated by how the 74 year old woman that could have looked like Helen's sister, she really did look that young. Helen, we got to find that photo and share it with the ladies. 74, there was not a single person in that gym I could do what she was doing. And you know what the doctors told her way back? Oh, maybe you shouldn't work out too much. Go easy because your bones are really frail now. You might really hurt yourself. 
mean, come on. If a 74 year old lady could be that fit, what's in store for you? What is in store for the, don't even get me started here, ladies. Come on. All right. So protein high fat, high carbohydrates can be high to medium. You do this based on how you feel for the day. Everybody make a note, please. If you're having a, a, a more physical day, have a little bit more of your, if you're, if you're this person, have more carbs. That's okay. If you're more sedentary, have less carbs. As an endomorph, you want to keep carbs down low all the time, but you want your protein and your fat to be high, whether you're training or you're not. So that doesn't change because as an endo, you want your body to use the fats as energy, not the carbs, right? If you're an ecto, well, if you're sedentary, have medium level carbs. If you're working out hard that day, have high level carbs. That's okay. Okay. And going back to that last portion I just said, 30 days, it takes time for your metabolism to kick in. 60 days, your metabolism starts to show results, but you don't see it. You don't see it. Your friends go, hey, you, you look damn good. What are you doing? What are you doing? But you go, I don't know. I look the same. 90 days, oh, that's when you take a photo of yourself, you look at your photo and you almost drop your phone because you're like, I didn't know I looked that good. Quick caption, ladies, before I turn this back to Helen, everybody make a note of this. Everybody, please, please, please. Your eyes will not see what the camera will present to you every time. One more time. Your eyes cannot see what a camera can show you every time. Why? Because looking at yourself in the mirror to check your progress. How do I look at my dress today? I don't have a dress. I'm just pretending to be a woman. How do I look at my dress? How do I look at my blouse? How do I look at my two-piece bikini? If you look at it with your eyes, looking at yourself every day is like watching grass grow every day if you're staring at grass every single day will you see how much it grows probably not will your neighbor see how much it grows probably why because they're not looking at it every day but you are so give yourself that gift of making progress and showing yourself on your camera okay and last thing real quick before i come back to helen if you hate your progress if your day one is like <gasps> I don't, I'm not saying this to you, okay? But I've heard this before. I look like Frankenstein. <laughs> I look horrible. I've heard it all. I look horrible. I look fat. I look disgusting. I look... Make a note, please. The more you hate the way you look now, the more amazed you will be with yourself later.